Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This week I'm using a new deck, it's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review, I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video, but I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September. And um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the life on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 7th, 7th to the 13th of September 2020. We start, I'm using the transparent tarot and I'll be layering them as you will be getting a 12 card reading plus 3 oracle cards. You wish to open the reading with the Hierophant. He's as tall as a tree and he's stable and he is also the head of an institution. Like the tree stands for strength, solemnness, um, rooted where he stands and everybody, all the trees can count on the mother tree. So you might be uh, the Hierophant, is the shaman, the high priest, um, and there was another one, uh, Hierophant in some decks. So you might be meeting a Taurus, you might be seeking advice from a wise, old or mature man. This could be a father figure, an older brother, an uncle or even your neighbour. Or a professional like an accountant, a doctor, a school teacher, uh, anybody like that, uh, somebody that is a head of an institution or a municipality. Then we have the page of coins. You can see the element is here is coins. The page of elements that could be a Taurus, a Virgo, but usually it is Capricorn as the Queen is Virgo and the King Taurus. So we do have Taurus here and Taurus here. It could be a Taurus, but main, but basically it is officially a, a Capricorn. A young person 
could be bringing you news. This could be about durability and something long term, like an investment or a loan. This could be the head of the institution of the bank that you went to see about a loan for a new house perhaps or a new car. So you'd be getting news saying yes or no. Then we have the knight or the king, the K for king, the king of cups. The king of cups is cancer. But don't forget Scorpio or Pisces. And a king of cups cancer most probably or another Scorpio could be making you an offer as he's holding the cup out towards you. Look at this. You came in as the high event, the head of an institution. You could be the advisor and you could be um, giving somebody else advice but I think it's more likely that you are seeking advice about finances. Somebody might have made you an offer so you might want to get uh, advice from a bookkeeper or a lawyer whether this is feasible or not this offer. You've got the Eight of Swords here and you're standing in the middle of the Circle of Swords. Usually uh, it's somebody is tied up um, and with a blindfold but here you can't see that but you can see that he's or she has his arms behind his back or her back so just throw out your wings take off the blindfold and step through the spaces of the sword don't just look what is around you look what's happening around you seek advice if you need advice then we come in and we're starting the second layer. Now we've got this, I'll show you like this. This is the death card, number 13, the scythe. And the death card represents Scorpio. So again, this could be a Scorpio, not only a Cancer, but a Scorpio. And you, you are coming out quite definitely and prominently in this reading Scorpio okay with the death card you are finished you've cut with the old you are cutting away your harvesting you're ready for this new phase you are ready to receive positive news you're no longer the caterpillar you are becoming the butterfly. Perhaps you needed advice on how to do things and to set it in motion. But it seems that news is flying around your ears and you know what you want to do and where you want to go. Then on Wednesday we have the sword. The Ace of Swords. again cutting you've got victory you're cutting away negativity you're cutting away um, this could be traditional news that you're receiving about money but you are cutting away the BS and you've got victory as the ace of swords means victory new communication a new start in knowledge perhaps a new study perhaps new communication about something that you um, that you you weren't speaking to somebody so that could be um, because in this picture it is a girl I think it could be with a lady you're taking no more nonsense you have um, in uh, engaged uh, somebody that's legal that will fight for you and you will have victory then we have the Empress sorry I've, you can't see his face sorry we've got the Empress and you are t you have taken big steps you've been through ups and downs look at the mountain 
but you can see already new life coming in. Again, fertility. The uh, Empress is Libra. So there could be a Libra that is fighting on your behalf, okay? Because we do have the swords. Could be a Gemini, could be an Aquarian, but I think it could be Libra because the Empress represents Libra as well. The time, the ground is fertile for you to start this new beginning after cutting away with the old. You are going to harvest now. You've planted seeds in, in the past and um, you're seeing them coming, sprouting out. That is the news of the page and the uh, no, the, pa the, the news of the page but also the offer of the king okay the king also is nurturing loving passionate and stable and he it's like this king is offering help advice love care okay you are you've got your emotions under control because the king uh, kings do have their emotions under control and can see things clearer than a page or a knight even a queen so some an investment is growing or you're taking this offer um, because you can see that it will bring a uh, rediment towards you you have stepped through the eight of swords here you have the fight the f sorry let's have a look the Five of Swords. Here you have the Five of Swords. You've got clarity. Look, all the swords are broken. You're not going into discussion anymore because the Five of Swords is arguments. Okay? And you can also, these cards, and that's what's terrific about it, these cards you can also lay like this and upside down and reversed. But to make it clearer to you, it doesn't matter in this case whether I put it like this or other way around. But you can see that the fight is over. The swords are broken. You've got nothing more to fight with. <coughs> You've got somebody else that protected you and fought for you uh, to get clarity and justice. And you have it. Now... We have the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is has the golden touch. The King of Pentacles has the golden touch. Like you can see, the scythe cuts away and harvest. He's got the golden touch. You are going to harvest, most probably on Monday or somewhere in the middle of the week. Let's see how this story um, develops but the king of pentacles is a taurus again a taurus on a taurus if you can understand the hierophant was the taurus the king of pentacles is taurus but there's also they could have scorpio in their chart the moon sign or the rising sign if it isn't a scorpio this is the last layer look at what we have here we've got a ship the six of swords you're moving you have risen above it's above the news above the trouble okay you have victory you've got the six of swords you're moving away towards new beginnings literally you're going to softer and calmer waters you're leaving the rough waters behind you you might even be moving home or going on holiday. You might be crossing water. So the Six of Swords is, an, as a matter of fact, also a way of a new beginning. You're leave, leaving the old behind. Now we have the Fool and it's depicted as a butterfly or a moth 
and you had the death card here and I said to you you're no longer the caterpillar you're the butterfly you are spreading your wings to greener pastures to richness to um, f the ground is so fertile you can reach anything you want you've left the troubled scene Wow and then we have the page of the ones and the page of ones means that again there is news there is action there is a new beginning it could be about a new job it just seems that the page of ones is rising you are coming out of yourself you are taking action awesome autumn you are creative you know what you want you've stepped out of the ring the swords are broken you know what what is you rising above um, other people's dramas and you're going into action towards what you want but you will get news this could come from a younger person this could be about a hobby this could be about a, a job this could be about uh, new business new clients I think it's beautiful now I've got cards here I've got an uh, answer of the angels and I think you have reached the position that you feel at rest you know where you want to go definitely okay and you're running towards it opportunity there you are that's the news opportunity okay then we have the angel feather and you've got the apricot angel feather angel of kindness the angels applaud the acts of kindness that you've performed regular for others and your thoughtful caring communication style communicating style you can wear apricot you can meditate on apricot and you can eat apricot this will detox you this will enhance your stability your stress levels just meditate or contemplate and evaluate you've got an orange card from the time to shine yes try again success time to focus on self-belief and self-support stay motivated and keep going you can do this there you go so long you don't so long you don't get stuck in the circle of sorts so open your eyes open your ears <coughs> sorry open your heart and your solar plex and your mind for new ideas come together be in balance spread your wings the type the, the time is ripe for new beginnings I hope you've enjoyed this reading good luck and enjoy your week Please share and like. Ciao, ciao, and stay safe.